Hey guys, it's the Solo Cloth here, and today inside of this Monster Legends Elites video, we actually have six movesets to go over. So all of these movesets are from new Corrupted Mythics that will be coming to Monster Legends this Friday. So definitely try to log on on Friday, by the way, so that you can get as many as possible. And hopefully seeing these movesets will help you guys know which ones you should prioritize. So let's get right into it. So the first moveset we have is Fame Malice. Fey Malice will be the brand new PvP monster, so you will get them out of the eggs in PvP after you win a battle, you get an egg. And if you end up getting a tier 6 egg, you do actually 100% get the monster. So let's get right into this moveset. So the first decent move is Legendary Soul Deal is moderate dark damage, applies blind to one enemy. That's an okay move, not really that good though, honestly. The next one is Strange Beauty, deals moderate dark damage, applies Possession, that's a pretty good move. Possession is cool, but hopefully she has an AoE Possession move in the future. And the next one is Mythic Soul, deals low dark damage to all enemies, applies blind all enemies, that's pretty decent too. So this monster is actually Deny, as we can tell from its move so far. And the next move is Terrific Shade, deals heavy dark damage to one enemy, applies total blind to one enemy. That's a pretty good move, total blind is good. The next move is Soul's Course, deals moderate dark damage to all enemies, applies possession to all enemies. So that is amazing, applying possession to all enemies is super duper good, so definitely run that move. And then the next one is Hideous Look, deals moderate dark damage, applies mega possession to one enemy. That's a really good move too. Applying Mega Possession is even better than applying Possession, so i definitely run that too. So overall, I'd have to give this monster like a 7 out of 10. It doesn't have an AoE Mega Possession, but I guess they're saving like the OP stuff until later on in the Corrupted Era, so we're gonna have to wait to find those. And then her special is Corruption Surge. Deals moderate dark damage to all enemies, removes 100% stamina from all enemies, gives 100% stamina to all allies. So that is a really good move. You can basically just regen all of your stamina and take away all the stamina from the enemies so overall pretty good monster and it says here dark controller with possession and blind seals as we did already see so overall pretty decent monster i definitely suggest you guys try to get him since he's going to be super easy to get out of the pvp eggs normally those monsters are like insanely easy to get so hopefully you guys can get him and i guess you can use him depending on what monsters you already have on your team okay so the next move set is master rat so if you didn't know master rat will be inside of the upcoming marathon coming out on Friday as well, so definitely try to get this monster. So the first move is 4 Elephants move, applies double damage to one ally, gives 50% stamina to one ally, that's a pretty good move, but we're not into the good stuff yet. Now let's go over to Snake Heads, deals moderate light damage to all enemies, applies vulnerable to all enemies, that's a really good move, vulnerable is pretty good. Inseparable Trio deals low light damage to all enemies, applies water, light, and fire weakness to all enemies, so that's a pretty good move too. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this one because it doesn't seem that good. Um, Agile and Changeable removes all negative status effects from all allies, applies precision to all allies. That's really good. NER is just really good. Negative effect removal, if you don't know what that means. <laughs> and yeah, it just seems like a really good move. So the next one is Short and Swift. Removes all negative status effects from one ally, gives one extra turn to itself. That is a really good move. So I definitely suggest you guys try to get that one. And then Rat and Snake. Deals heavy light damage to one enemy, removes positive status effect from one enemy, applies vulnerable to one enemy. That's a really good move too. And then you need skill to win, applies triple damage to all allies during one turn, gives 100% stamina to all allies. That's a really good move too. I've noticed a trend, well at least between these two monsters, they both give 100% stamina to all allies. I think they kind of ran out of ideas, <laughs> no, I'm joking, but yeah, it's kind of weird that they both give 100% stamina to all allies. So, he is a light support, and makes enemies receive more damage. So yeah, pretty good monster overall. And then we have Darker, which is a monster that I'm definitely going to use. He looks awesome, I love his design. So now let's get into this. His first decent move is Dream Haunter. Deals moderate dark damage to all enemies, applies nightmares to all enemies. Pretty good move. Sharp Tentacles, deals moderate dark damage to all enemies, applies bleed to all enemies. That's pretty good too. And then Corrupted Curse deals moderate dark damage to all enemies, applies curse to all enemies. Curse is really good, so I definitely think that that move is really good. And then Sharp Whip deals heavy dark damage to one enemy, applies bleed to one enemy. And then Sharp Dreams deals a very heavy dark damage to one enemy, applies bleed to one enemy, applies nightmares to one enemy. That's a really good move too. And then Shocking Ring deals very heavy dark damage to one enemy, applies Curse and Shock. That's really good, because Curse is just overall really good, and then Shock works really well with it too. 
And then his special is Savadir's Dream. I probably said that wrong. Deals very heavy dark damage to all enemies, plus Curse, Shock, and Nightmares to all enemies. So his special is really good too. So overall, this monster seems like an attacker to me. And it is going to be inside of the Free Legends Pass, if you didn't know, so he will be super easy to get. So definitely try to get him. And he seems like a pretty good attacker, but he also kind of seems like a cursor. Because if you didn't know, cursors like apply a bunch of negative status effects to the enemies. And he definitely can do that. So maybe like a cursor and attacker hybrid. So now let's get on to Sensei Panikin's moveset. So the first one of these that seems decent is Sensei Mine applies possession to one enemy. Pretty decent, but not the best. The next one is Combustion, deals low fire damage to all enemies, plus burn to all enemies. That's a pretty good move. And then Euclipitus Flavor, I definitely said that wrong. Deals moderate nature damage to all enemies, plus life regen to itself. Decent move, not the best though. Next one is Nukite, deals moderate nature damage to one enemy, applies stun to one enemy. That's okay. And then Double Nukite, deals low nature damage to all enemies, applies stun to all enemies. That's a pretty good move, I like that. And then 3 inch punches. Deals low fire damage to all enemies, applies possession and stun to all enemies. That's really good. I really like that move. So this monster seems really good just because of that move. And then Pure Fury is a special. Deals heavy fire damage to all enemies, applies mega stun to all enemies. That's really good. Mega stun is pretty good. And of course, he's a fire controller with stun and possession skills. He will be inside of the Golden Legends Pass. I don't know if I already said that, but I think I did. So yeah, if you want to spend money, definitely try to get him because he seems pretty decent. And now let's move on to Wing Sue's moveset. The first decent move is Sui Rain. Deals moderate water damage to all enemies, plus drown to all enemies. That's okay, not the best though. And then Precise Tonto. Deals low fire damage to one enemy. Applies guard down to one enemy. Gives one extra turn. That's pretty good. One extra turn is pretty good. And then it looks like his next move also gives an extra turn. So you could cycle between these two and then use some other ones in the middle. And then Fast Tonto, yeah, deals moderate water damage, gives one extra turn. So yeah, like I already said, cycle between those two moves. And then Shinobi Eerie removes all torture and applies area dodge to itself. That's really good. Area dodge is super good. And removing all tortures could really help against Darker if people end up using Darker. And then we have Kenjustu is deals heavy water damage to one enemy, applies guard down to all enemies. Guard down is pretty good, so I definitely go with that move. Then Ninjutsu deals very heavy water damage to one enemy, applies drown to one enemy. That's a pretty good move too. And Pure Tanjutsu deals very heavy water damage to all enemies, applies drown to all enemies, and applies area dodge to itself. So overall, this is a pretty good monster. Area dodge is really good, and you can give it to yourself, so that's just all around pretty great. And I think this monster will be inside of a maze, but I'm not 100% sure. Definitely try to get him no matter what event he's in, because he seems like a really good monster. And then the next one is Boronaut, Undead Boar. Actually, I'm not going to look at that. That does, like, nothing. So, Eternal Hog applies life regen to itself, requires cooldown. That's okay. Corrupted Body doubles maximum life of itself, requires cooldown. So, that seems okay, especially since, if you didn't know, Corrupted Monsters are going to have almost double the life of Cosmic Mythics. So, that seems really good. And then we have Ludum Skin, heals itself by 50%, gives 50% stamina to itself, requires cooldown. Pretty good move. Shoulder Ram deals heavy magic damage to one enemy, absorbs 50% of damage received. That seems pretty good. And then Mythic Metabolism deals heavy magic damage to one enemy, applies double healing to itself. And then Iron Smell applies Bleeding Hater to itself, deals very heavy magic damage to one enemy. So that's really good. If you can apply Bleed to an enemy and then use that, then you can do like so much damage. And then we have Awaken to Defeat, which is his special, deals heavy special damage to all enemies, Applies bleed to all enemies, applies three turns till death countdown to all enemies. That's pretty decent. So overall, this monster seems pretty decent too. And then down here, it says that Darker is going to be a dark attacker with torture skills. Oh, and it actually says that Wingsu isn't going to be in a maze. It is going to be in a quest. So you will actually be able to breed it, which is pretty cool. You guys should definitely try to get it because it seems pretty good. And then that's about it. So yeah, those are all the leaks we have for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.